hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i posted every anything uh but yes i'm back i'm well and i'm alive last year this time i embarked on a journey to become vegan and i challenged myself to doing it for one year um, and it's exactly been about one year and a few days and I've decided okay let me review and tell you guys about my journey and I've decided that I'm going to break it up into three parts or probably five parts so today's video is going to be about why I started this journey of challenging myself to be vegan for an entire year so yeah let's get into it. So, um, my healthy eating journey started officially, I think, when I moved here to Durban, which was in 2017, right? Uh, but before that, I had done a lot of research, um, and I had read up about a lot of uh, food and you know my love for food started in varsity really um so i got here in 2017 and you know life is good you know it's your first job you're getting paid you know you've never had this kind of money in your account or even in your rich and so obviously you're excited joe you're excited you eating out take out you want to do all the things you've never got to do so i was always eating out takeouts um other restaurants or ordering in i was hardly ever cooking and to make things worse you know i work in a company that actually um also has ice cream so every day i'd be here eating a young ice cream i just every day I, it was a norm and you know in the morning we have a canteen so in the morning i wouldn't even cook breakfast i'd always be at the canteen and i'd have like eggs bacon greasy food this was my life guys for an entire year so by the time i was but the time the year ended you know i did my vitality um check-in and i realized that i was about 80 something kgs like i was higher 80s kg uh trend um borderlining 90s and you know it bothered me a bit but for me i didn't see a difference in physically i didn't see that i was big so i continued on my ways and i think around november or something i realized that yay i was chilling on 90 something kgs that was an eye opener for me and i was like this is not my life this is not because the next thing i'll be 100 guys these things happen you just find yourself that you're 100 kgs next thing you're overweight and don't don't so i was like you know what it's time i take my health seriously that was an eye opener so 2017 new year's resolution was for me to start eating healthy and start taking jogging up um, as an exercise i've always loved running even in varsity so then I was like, okay, started the year. So I started first trying benting, then I tried keto, then I tried being pescatarian, and then I tried being vegetarian. I also tried veganism for a month, right? Um, and after, I was just hopping around trying these different lifestyles so that I can figure out what actually works for me. And then um, sometime in 2018, I also decided that actually now I'm going to give myself a period where I'm not going to care about subscribing to any lifestyle. I'm just going to live, live and eat whatever I want. Healthy, healthy food though, just but not subscribe to a low carb or high carb. So then I did that. And then I realized that I stopped buying meat in that period. I stopped buying dairy. I stopped buying cheese. I was just not buying any animal-based products. So by the time December hit, I was like, okay, I see a pattern here. And maybe this is something I need to investigate. If that's my natural instinct to not buy animal-based products when I have a choice, then maybe it's something I need to explore. So then that's when the vegan challenge started. But why one year? Why did I choose for the challenge to be one year? 
Well, personally, right, I believe that if you really want to see the effect of anything in your life, you need to do it long term. Three months have been highly reported as something that's effective. You want to see uh, the effect of your exercise regime. You need to do it consistently over three months. But I just felt like that's not enough. I felt like a year gives me a complete experience, you know. A year really helps you see the difference. And yeah, so I was like, okay, I think one year is a complete number and it's long enough. And let's see if I can do it. To be honest, I didn't think that I'd be able to do it. I thought it was just going to be like three months and then I'll tap out and be like, this is not for me. But surprisingly, I made it through an entire year. And yeah, I'm extremely proud of myself. So yeah, basically, um, this is it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to address why I actually decided to start the vegan challenge so you guys can have some background and so that you can understand that I am not vegan for the animals, right? Um, I'm also not vegan because I've been influenced by other people. It is a personal decision I took for myself and it's entirely based on you know what naturally feels right to me when it comes to my diet what do i tend to lean towards naturally you know um and yeah that's that's where it started uh so yeah stay tuned for the next video the next video will be about um the transition you know so that i let you guys in on was the transition easy was it not easy top line what challenges i faced etc etc also, just so that you're always notified when I post something, you can subscribe to my channel and then also you can click um, the bell in order for you to um, get notified. Um, and lastly, you can catch me on Instagram. Instagram is where I always upload statuses. You get to interact with me real time, see what I'm eating every day um etc etc and also on facebook because my accounts are linked so whatever i post on instagram uh, appears on facebook so yeah thank you for watching the videos uh, if you have any further questions that you'd like me to cover just comment down below um, and i'll get back to you so yeah